Hey guys, what is going on? Anthony here with Piston Talk. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's video, we're going to be talking about John Hollinger's latest piece over at The Athletic. For you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, he basically just broke down what he's hearing from teams at the NBA Draft Combine. And your Detroit Pistons were one of the first teams he was talking about. So I am going to share a little screenshot I took from the article and here is what he had to say about your Pistons. Detroit obviously was the big winner of Tuesday's draft lottery after landing the top overall pick. The number one player on virtually everyone's public draft board is Oklahoma State wing Cade Cunningham, but it's not a slam dunk that Detroit takes him. This has been reported other places already, including by our own Sam Vecini. But I can very much confirm that the Pistons are intrigued by G League guard Jalen Green and could take him over Cunningham. Regardless, the Pistons will pick somebody. The chances of Detroit trading down seem minimal and my spies were equally skeptical of Houston at number two and Cleveland at number three looking to move back in return for multiple picks. This gives a raise to more of a general question. There are a lot of teams that might seek to trade up, but who trades down? According to my math, it requires two teams to complete a trade, and this could prove difficult. After reading that article this morning, I was like, all right, this could be a smokescreen. And I hate to compare this player from last year's draft to Jalen Green because I think Jalen Green is 10 times more talented. Um, I think he's going to be a bucket day one in the NBA draft. Patrick Williams. Now, last year, right before the draft, we saw all the reports that Detroit may look to draft Patrick Williams seventh overall. We all know what happened. The Bulls took him at fourth, and we got Killian. Now, do I think this could be a smokescreen by the Detroit Pistons and Troy Weaver? Possibly, I don't know. Uh, do I think there are certain people in the Detroit Pistons front office, like scouts, that would prefer Jalen Green over Kate Cunningham? It's possible. Um, I don't know. It's, it's very difficult to understand um, where the Pistons are coming from. Like, if you want to take Jalen Green, obviously... Like Hollinger said, you could possibly trade down with another team. Maybe Houston, uh, maybe Cleveland, you could trade down with. But if you're just not going to trade down, not trying to you know make any trades with those teams and draft Jalen Green over Kate Cunningham first overall, I think that's where some fans may have a problem um, with this. And I can completely understand it. Kate Cunningham has been that consensus number one pick all the way back in December when the NBA season started. Everyone was saying Kate Cunningham is going first overall, and there is a big talent gap between Kate Cunningham and Jalen Green. Not to say Jalen Green's not a good player. Kate Cunningham is just a better overall player in my personal opinion. But let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think of the athletic reporting that the Detroit Pistons may take Jalen Green first overall. Over Kate Cunningham, I'll talk to you guys down below in the comment section. Like always, I hope you guys are staying safe. Take care. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.